Hi there, this is Spitfire with Game Mode 5, and today we're going to be looking at a really awesome feature of the Multicraft slash Envious Host system. Uh, and what we're going to be looking at is, uh, <laughs> is actually in the advanced section, um, commands. Now, looking at this, what we can actually do is we can create these very awesome custom commands regardless of what type of uh, server jar we're using. So for instance, if we were to want to create, uh, there are actually some already built in and all the ones that you see are, uh, are built in. So for instance, uh, here you see admin say, uh, required role, moderator, and chat. Now this, it's unclear at this point uh, if this actually hooks into permissions or if it's inbuilt into the multicraft system. Uh, you may want to double check that. I believe it may just be inbuilt into what you have set up in the Multicraft system. Now, moving forward, uh, what we would want to do is let's go ahead and click on Admin Say. Now, as you can see here, this is just the name. This is how you know it. Uh, it has nothing to do with the command itself. The required role, you could set it to be Guest, User, Moderator, Administrator, or just Owner. We'll go ahead and leave that as Moderator. The prerequisite. Uh, you can see here uh, if uh, the prerequisite is, say, uh, player list, uh, on stop, on start, uh, teleport, time, that kind of thing. All right. Uh, chat uh, is a say. Now, this is actually what the uh, message must start with. So it would be, for instance, uh, slash a say or just a say. Uh, and then the response. Uh, this would actually be whispered to the player, as you can see by the tooltip over here on the right. And then uh, the the run. Now this is uh, actually hooked into a larger system um, where it says this is actually what is run in console. So it would be it would run this built-in ASA. Uh, so for instance, if we were to want to have it respond back to the player. Um, you are a noob. <clears throat> what it would do is when we invoked this chat parameter, it would actually uh, go ahead and uh, say what it is we're going to say, and it would also respond back to the player and say, you're a noob. Uh, now, of course, that doesn't do us a whole lot of good, but let me show you some very practical uses for this system. For instance, here you can actually see there's a restart if empty. All right. Now, obviously you can't be online when you do this because then the server's not empty. So, what would be the use for this? Well, let me show you. Uh, here you can see uh, required role is administrator. Prerequisite none. Um, there are no, there's no chat command for this and no response. And then you can see where it runs built in colon restart underscore empty. Now, what this does, let's go ahead and hit save. Let's say, for instance, we wanted to uh, schedule our server to restart every day at 3 a.m. What we would do is go to the advanced tab. Go to Scheduled Tasks. Now we would go to New Task. We would name it Daily Underscore Restart. All right. Status Scheduled. Scheduled Time. There you go. We're going to do it at an interval. At every one days and then we select what command it is we'd like to run so it would be restart if empty and then any arguments that we have um, which you may actually have it run some secondary commands but that's a little bit more advanced usage and we're not going to get in that now and then run for uh, we're going to leave that on the server level. However, you can actually set it to run for everyone or any of these users. All right, we're going to go ahead and create. Now, we didn't actually set it to run at 3 a.m., but we could have done that 
by simply selecting that this should happen at 8 a.m. or 3 a.m. All right. But as you can see here, it does happen at 8.52. I believe that's in the a.m. Um, and it starts at this time and then is rerun at an interval of one days. All right. Now we go ahead and we save. Now we have that set up. There are some other things you can actually set up as well. For instance, rather than having a plugin that runs, uh, let's say, a reminder to vote uh, on a 20 minute or hourly schedule, you can actually set up one of these commands to, uh, to run and, uh, and actually give the players that information and then just simply set it to run every so many minutes, hours, or days. All right. That's it for now, but we will probably get into something a little bit more advanced later on. I'm Spitfire with Game Mode 5. Like, subscribe, comments please.